A crowded room of Republicans hoping to pull off another victory for Scott Walker. We're ready for a big victory. Start starting tonight when we beat the Patriots. Eight years ago, Walker was part of a red wave that saw Republicans take over state houses and the House of Representatives. This year, history suggests the midterms could be a blue wave for Democrats. Walker tells me his closing argument is about the economy and health care coverage. We will always cover people's pre-existing conditions. You've heard me say this repeat. I said it at the debate. My, my mother, my wife, and my brother all have pre-existing conditions. Democrats are just as determined to pull out a win. It's a tight race. We have to get people out to vote. For Tony Evers, a cancer survivor, health care and education are the driving campaign issues for Democrats. I mean, clearly, uh, people are concerned about their health care and want to make sure that they have accessible and affordable health care, but they're also concerned about the kids and the grandkids like I am. Walker and Evers have something in common. They both have won three statewide elections, but getting over the finish line for a fourth time is turning out to be a bigger battle for both than any previous campaigns. In the newsroom, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4.